Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today I'm going to explain to you how to multiply numbers with decimal points. And you'll probably have a little bit of trouble understanding this initially, but I'm going to try and do it as simple as possible so that you will, it's impossible for you not to get it. So let's start with just multiplying a number. Let's just do 2 times 4. Okay, and the answer is 8. You know how easy is that? Now I'm going to multiply. I'm going to modify that a little bit, and I'm going to change it to 0 0.2 times 4. <clears throat> I want you to tell me what the answer is. Now, just by doing it using simple addition, you would know that 0 0.2 times 4 is the same as 0 0.2 plus. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 and the answer is 0 0.8 okay now notice how the answer while it's different to 8 it's pretty much the same thing with a decimal point in front of the number okay so if I put up zero, if I put a decimal point in front of a digit a number then what happens is in the answer I'm also going to have that same amount of numbers after the decimal point so notice how there is one number after the decimal point in the answer I'm also going to have one number after the decimal point so let's try it again so let's try 0 0.3 times 5 now you would still break it up into columns Okay, so you got 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 0 is 0. Now, how many numbers are there after the decimal point? There's one number after the decimal point, so I'm going to put one number after the decimal point. So the answer is 1.5. So I'm going to try and explain this to you guys using a bigger number. So let's just try, let's just try, uh, what is it? 2.4 times uh, 7 okay so what I'm doing is I'm getting the number 7 and I'm going to multiply by the first digit on the right which is the tenth digit so 7 times 4 is 24 right so what this 24 is is actually 0 0.4 times 7 now because I have a decimal point here 0 0.4 times 7 the answer is going to be 2.8 right so oops why did I write 2.4 the answer is 2.8 sorry about that and then you would have 7 times 2 and the answer is 14 so then you would add them together and the answer is 100 and 68 now because there's a decimal point here you would put the decimal point down here as well okay so uh, I'm not sure if you're getting this but the 14 comes from 7 times 2 okay so let's just try it again with a harder one so um, let's do 28.3 oh, 2.83 let's put two numbers after decimal point 2.83 times 6 now the cool thing about this is that you don't line up the decimal points anymore initially so I'm not lining up the decimal point the decimal point is here decimal point is here you just put all the numbers to the right so whatever numbers you have for example let's say I have 6.1 okay you just line up the numbers according to whichever number is the end right you put it against you align them to the right so now um, I'm gonna do 1 times 3 is 3 1 times 8 is 8 1 times 2 is 2 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 8 is 48, so it's going to be 49, 
6 times 2 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16. So it's, and then you add them together, so that's 3, 16, 12, 7, and 1. And notice how there are three numbers after the decimal points. All right, one, two, three. Three numbers after the decimal points. So you're going to put the decimal point in front of three numbers. So one, two, three. Same number of digits after the decimal point. So you're probably thinking, well, what happened? All right? What? How does this algorithm work? Well, let's explain these three numbers to you first. So where does two where does 2.83 come from? Alright, where does this number come from? 2.83. I'm trying to use a highlighter, but it's obviously too hard to find. So 2.83 <clears throat> this number 283 comes from 2.83 times 0.1 okay that's basically where this number comes from and when you times by 0 0.1 uh, I'm not sure if actually I don't think I've explained that to you but when you multiply a number by 0 0.1 you basically just move the decimal point to the left one unit Okay, and the answer is going to be 0 0.283. 0 0.283. Right, and then um, the next number is 2.83 by 6. And you guys have already worked out the answer is 1, 6, uh, 0.98 okay so that's what this is and then when you add them together guess what the decimal points line up so then you got 17.263 um, so that's how uh, multipl multiplication works with decimal numbers. Just to confirm that you guys can do it, I'm going to give you one question. You're going to try it out. So let's do 2.8 times 5.4. Alright, let's do that one and then let's give you a harder one. 7.92 times 0 Okay, might as well just give you another one. 7.5 times uh, times 2.84. Okay, try these out and come back when you're done. So let's do these together. Okay, we have 4 times A is 32. 4 times 2 is A. 8 plus 3 is 11. 5 times A is uh, 40, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14, and add them together, so that's 2, 1, 5, 1, 2 numbers after the decimal point, so let's put it in front of 2 numbers, so the answer is 15.12. Alright, next one, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 9 is 54, plus 1 is 55, 6 times 7 is 42, 40, uh, 2 plus 5 is 47. And then we have 0 here, so ignore all that. 3 numbers after the decimal point, 1, 2, 3. The answer is 4.752. Next one, 5 times 4 is 20, 4 times 7 is 28, plus 2 is 30, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 7 is 56, plus 4 is 60. Uh, actually, just write the 60 there. And then 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 10 is 14, plus 1 is 15. Add all these together, so I got 0, 0, 3, uh, ignore this, uh, 11, and 2. So how many numbers? 1, 2, 3. Three, decimal, three numbers after decimal point. Okay, so let's try it out. 
see if you guys got the right answer. First one, 2.8 times 5.4. Uh, 15.12, yep. Uh, the next one is 7.92 times 0 0.6. The answer is 4.752. And the third one is uh, 7.5 times 2.84. And the answer is 21.3, yep. Okay, so that's how you do multiplication with... Uh, decimal points. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time